So welcome ladies and gentlemen, welcome back today as we continue Master League, we're winding right down now, that's right, a couple of episodes and we'll probably be done. Um, I'm honestly probably going to be doing this once I finish this Master League, okay, I can't see myself playing a whole new Master League, I just, I don't think it's going to happen, especially before PES 2021 does hit. So, there are a couple of patches lying around, so, you know, some of them are classic teams, and I don't know, I just feel like maybe doing some sort of a league with classic teams, or I don't know, something different, but I'm going to find an interesting patch, well, that's the plan, and then go from there. But first of all, of course, let's get this one out of the way, but if you do have a patch that you know for PES 2020, it's on PC, um, let me know, because I'll wipe this clean, I'll do a fresh install, uh, and then we'll see how it goes. So yeah, if you have anything, let me know below. So in today's episode, what we're going to be doing is uh, simming this match against Hillis Verona. Not very, not very well going with the simulation because we've lost one and drawn one, but we're still going to do it. And then we have Sporting. We drew nil-nil in that first leg somehow. I don't know how. Actually, was playing 10-minute matches, and to be honest, the games were quite quick. A lot of chances for a 10 minute game, so I've got no problem with that. Honestly, if it's 10 minutes and there's chances, that's fine. I just want to make the matches enjoyable for you guys. Whether stupid things happen or not, then, you know, you kind of just go on with it and play with it. Uh, and then we've got Napoli, so we'll sim that one. We've got a huge break, a massive break. And if we do advance, then we're into the quarterfinals. And there are still some very good teams left, so that will be tasty. So let's have a look at some messages here. We've got negotiations with Caldera. Okay, well, I'm not really worried too much about that. And that's probably going to be the reason why this is all flashy-dashy. Um, that's mental, to be honest. I would sell him, absolutely. For 48.4 million, absolutely. He would be off and running. Um, Castellejo, I'd probably sell him for 20 million as well. We've got Bonaventura. I'd probably keep him. Caldera... I could sell him as well. I probably have about 100 plus million to spend. So if we were playing again, you know, we'd, we'd, we'd splash the cash. But yeah, just just can't be doing it right now. It's, uh, it's not going to happen with Master League. The time is limited. So anyway, here's a look at the lineup for today. This is what I'm going to be going for. Um, a couple of minor alterations, nothing too crazy. Obviously, I want to have the, the players rested for the sporting game. But I still want to kind of win. I don't know if I should play Hakan or Paqueta. I mean, I've gone for Rebic up top. You know what? Let's put Hakan up there. I don't know why. Let's just do that. And actually, let's take off to Debo and put in Theo Hernandez. There we go. So we'll rest those players. All right. So that'll do. Let's go ahead now and sim it. What do you guys reckon? I'm going to say we're going to win this one. 2-0. All right. Here we go. Come on, lads. And... Jeez. Come on. Nil-nil. Embarrassing, boys. Can't score a goal. All right, so there we go. Juventus dropping points again. Now, if Napoli have won in their match, they are going to close the gap to about three points. Roma lost to Fiorentina. Inter lost as well. Lazio did win. Um, Napoli did win. Well, this is going to go down to the wire. Quite fascinating, actually. Uh, Lecce got a point. So, there we go. So, three points now is separating Juventus and Napoli. There's still about six or so matches left. We're still fifth, but we're now uh, six points away from Lazio because the boys can't win a game when you sim. But there we go. And Lecce, yeah, we keep speaking about it, but they have had an absolute mare of a season so far. So this national team announcement, let's just go ahead and uh, skip through it. That loss was devastating. Well, we didn't lose. We drew. So I don't know what that's all about. But let's just go ahead and, uh, yeah, definitely hit next. And uh, here we go. So we're back playing Sporting against Bruno Fernandes. Of course, this was before he went to Manchester United. So that's why he is still there. Uh, yeah, we just have to play well. We've got to be careful we don't concede. I mean, it's as simple as that. We concede that away goal, and then we're going to need two. So let me play around with the lineup, play around with the lads. Sounds a bit naughty, but let's do it. And I'll be right back. Okay, so this is what we're going to go for. For today, right? I know Kessie's down. I don't care. He's a player that I really think we need in the middle, no matter what. Uh, so I'm going to start him today. Uh, then Donker needs a bit of a rest. I'm going to rest him. Uh, Bonaventura with uh, Hakan. I'm going to also rest Paqueta, just because Hakan's more up for it. Felipe Anderson and Suso. 
And then Rafael with Ibra and then them three at the back. Theo Hernandez with some pace along with Tadebo and then Romagnoli. And we're going to start Pepe Reina just because he has the captaincy trait and he's also fully maxed on the old blue. So there we go. So that's the lineup for today. Hope you guys do enjoy it. Let's dive right into the action. Remember, it's nil-nil. We have to win. If we draw, it won't be enough. So yeah, here we go. Pepe Reina back in goal today. Placing uh, Donnarumma. He hasn't done too much wrong this season, but you know, Pepe Reina has pulled off some fantastic performances as well. As Zlatan gets clattered to the floor. 13 minutes gone. And he's a very fortunate boy there that he hasn't got a yellow card. It was late, cynical, and the ball had already far, far gone. Now Hakan, we'll see it's a long way out here, 37 metres. But this guy can score in uh, many different ways and that nearly found the bottom corner. The amount of dip and swerve on this was insane. And it's a great save. Well, this is a promising position here. A lot closer than earlier. And you'd fancy the Turkishman to possibly put this one away. Rafael was the one, just do dallying with it, playing with it, trying to hold players up, but in the end, just, I don't know what happened there. Bit of a mix-up. So this one, 22 metres out. Goalie is kind of central. So he'll definitely have to make some tactical decisions, but the uh, ball came off the defending wall, and that's why the wall was there. Bossier. The Proud. Trying to cut inside there, but he does get a second go at it. Lays it inside, there's an effort. Not the best finish in the world. And Tadebo, great pace by him. Sousa. Bonaventura, lovely little ball through the middle to find Hakan. Zlatan, Raphael. Zlatan, back to Raphael. Could this be the moment? Oh, he's missed the target. What a chance that is. Maybe he went the wrong way. I think he thought the goal he was going to commit to the other side. He tried to just loft it over him, but just pulls it. A couple of Rossoneri players now warming up on the bench. Luigi looks to make a change. Needs something extra from his lads if they are. Going to take this match by the scruff of the neck. Not been a game full of tons of chances. Only takes one, though. One moment of brilliance. Well done, Tadebo. Now Suso up the line. Raphael towards Latan. Felipe Anderson. It's all a little bit too tight in the middle, though, isn't it? Luis feeds it through the middle. This is better by Sporting. Lovely football. There's the give and go. Pepe Reina came out. I'll tell you what, he hasn't got any of the ball there. The referee doesn't care. It could have been a penalty. Possibly should have been a penalty. Now well, Kessie, he's done fantastically well. Suso lays it inside. Bonaventura out muscled by Eduardo. Still no changes yet as the ball hasn't gone off. And there's an effort from a long way out. Comfortable for Pepe Reina. Launches it clear. And there is absolutely no break in this game. Bonaventura again gone the other way this time, Raphael feeds it off to uh, Hakan skips past his man back to Kessie and switch it round to Suso Bonaventura has decided to go all the way back, Kessie again ah, it's a waste isn't it from AC Milan, it's almost like they're running out of ideas, now watch the players through the middle Kaprao, it's a good looking pass, the ball swung round the other way Fed across the box again. Tadebo can't get there, but Pepe Reina can. <laughs> we are still going. The ball hasn't gone off for how long? We are heading into extra time if this continues the way it's gone. Now Rafael with some space. Needs Latan to move away from him. Ibrahimovic back to Rafael. Referee could have given a foul. Latan wants it, but he's not interested in it. As Bruno Fernandes swings it around the other way. The referee says play on with this one. Should have been a foul. It wasn't given. 
and suddenly Fernando's got a chance to win it and he's fluffed it as well. This is insane right now. We are non-stop back and forth. The players are not getting any kind of a rest. Here's Todibo. Suso. Rafael. Hakan. Felipe Anderson. Not the pass they wanted there. And that is surely going to be full time. We are heading into extra time and don't be surprised to see a lot of changes. So extra time begins as uh, Rafa Silva comes on for Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Paquette has also been summoned as he replaces Bonaventura. But Sporting have had chances this game, haven't they? Failed to take them. And it looks like they're starting off the same way here with a header. And it's over the bar. Well, Pepe Reina, I mean, he's the captain today. But there's a reason why this guy keeps playing. Because he is such a difference maker. Oh, here's Paqueta, and I'll tell you what, no one's trying to run here with Rafa Silva. It's a great save this time by the opposite number. Man, oh man. That could be a huge stop. Oh, here comes Platter. It's a good challenge on him. Roman Yoli, that was a bit of a wasted pass there. You didn't need to play it towards him. Kessie picks it up. Hakan feeds it out wide to Felipe Anderson with some room. Feeds it across. Referee says play on. Hakan flicks it away. Suso. Paqueta. Oh, that's a late, late, late challenge there. A smart play, though, by Paqueta, wasn't it? And rightly so. It is Mr. Bruno Fernandes who goes into the book. He was just shaping up here, Paqueta, to get it on the left peg and have a strike. Well, Hakan earlier. It's about the same range, isn't it? 23 metres. Last time he hit the wall. This time he hits the target and he scores. What a finish it is. And how important this goal could be. 99th minute. The Turkishman does it again. The goalie got a hand onto it, but it just wasn't enough to keep it out. There's still time, don't get me wrong. But that is a huge boost for the home side. Keeper's unlucky there. He's pulled off some good saves as well today. But he just didn't have a strong enough palm to keep this one out. It's been such a fast-paced game. It really has been back and forth, neck and neck. I still don't write this one off as finished yet. I still think there's more chances in this. Because look at the space here for Rafa Silva. All alone. Surely this time he makes it number two. And that should be game, set and match for AC Milan. It was always going to happen. Sporting needing a goal. Players are tired. This man isn't. He's got the freshest legs. And it's a cool, calm finish. So the second half of extra time begins. And Sporting are going to need two goals now if they're going to do anything. But hang on a minute because Rafa Silva's in again. And he's missed this time. Probably could have maybe dinked it over the goalie. It just goes to show you what this guy can do, Rafa Silva. Especially when you bring him on when players are depleted and tired. He's so quick. Hakan, unlucky there. But he does well to win it back again. Paqueta gets it on the old left foot. Tries to bend it. Keeper makes a bit of a hash of it. It falls back to uh, Felipe Anderson. Loses it to Eduardo. Platter. And there really is no reason now for AC Milan to take any risks at all. Rodriguez has come on, by the way, at the back to uh, replace Romagnoli. But if Sporting can grab a goal here, well, they're not going to. Not on Tadebo. Suso, ball up the line. Rafael, he may be tired, but he still wants to keep going. Lays it back. Rafa Silva, lovely feet and a good save back towards Hakan. Trying to open up a strike himself. Gets it on the right foot and it's a comfortable save for Maximano. And you feel that is about it. AC Milan will be advancing. It's been a tough game, but they will be heading through to a semi-final.
As Felipe Anderson dinks it over the top, Raphael, and he's missed this time as well. We've had so many chances this extra time. Another chance for Felipe Anderson. He gets it on the left foot, deflected away. And that is going to be a full time. Job done. It was not pretty. They left it late. But they will head through to the semi-final. So there we go. What a game. I mean, I couldn't I couldn't breathe. It was like non-stop. Taught, taught, taught. The ball didn't go off. It was madness. But anyway, we had 12 attempts to eight, and all our chances, by the way, came in extra time. Uh, I think the tactical change there of bringing on Rafa Silva made a big difference. And Hakam was man of the match. So let's have a look at who is advancing. Wolves knocking out Everton. Porto beat Genk. Manchester United smashing Feyenoord 8-2 on aggregate. Sparta at Moscow are through. Atletico Madrid are through. Chelsea advance. And St. Etienne. So that's some good teams heading through. I mean, who are we going to face? I wouldn't mind facing Manchester United just for a bit of fun. Uh, but we'll see who we are going to take on in the next round in just a second next up we have got napoli so we'll go ahead and sim this one uh but looks like we're taking on saint etienne well we've got a little bit fortunate there actually that wasn't the quarter semi-final was it that was just, that was a that was the round of 16 i was saying the wrong thing the whole time apologies we are actually into the quarterfinals now uh what an idiot not the semi-final uh but yeah saint etienne okay we've probably got one of the easiest teams out of all the teams left. And we got Porto, Manchester United. United always struggle against them. Uh, Wolves against Sparta and Moscow. And Chelsea got the hardest team there, Atletico Madrid. All right, so let's go ahead and look at the lineup and uh, quickly just whack in some lads. I mean, we definitely want to put in the, the strongest team we can possible. But, I mean, Romagnoli needs a rest. Uh, who else we got at the back? We could put Calabria back there. Why not? Uh, we'll put Dendonka back. Kessie, you can still play, mate. You've got legs. You can run all day. Uh, Rafa Silva. I definitely want to play him. Let's let's actually rest Raphael today. And then on the right-hand side, let's bring in a Tau. Hakan can have a rest. We'll bring in uh, Paqueta. I'm only on an 84. It's not the best. Kind of tempted to bring in uh, Rebic. You know what? Let's try Rebic and Rafa Silva. Yeah, why not? Why not try those? You know, whether it matters in a sim or not. And we'll put uh, Donnarumma back between the sticks. And there we go. So let's go with that. There's Napoli. I'm not expecting us to win. Honestly, the way we've been playing with the sims have been horrendous. But uh, what do we think? I'm going to say a draw. 1-1. Um, 1-1, one, one. One, one, lads. What are we thinking? Uh, we lost 1-0. So not really a surprise there. Uh, but Juventus did win as well. So unfortunately... For Napoli, that didn't help them out. Uh, Atalanta beat Roma. They can't seem to win a game. Likewise, we can't. Inter lost again as well. Uh, Bologna lost. Sampdoria won. Torino won. Lecce losing two. So now we're down to sixth. I don't really care about the league anymore. Like I said, just going to finish it. Whatever happens, happens. It's really just more about if Napoli can catch up with Juve. And if they can, what a surprise that would be. Uh, so there we go. Roma now down to eighth. Uh, the bottom of the table, yeah, pretty much the same that we have seen before. So we're going to have a long, long respite here. And now we're going to be back for the St. Etienne game. So yeah, we'll definitely show this one for you guys. So we'll play this match and then the next episode we will continue. So ideally what we're looking at is we'll play this match. So the next episode we'll play this one. And if we get through, we'll have the semi-final, semi-final, final. So probably two or three episodes and we should be done uh, with the season. So once again, let me play around with the lineup and I'll be back. Oh, wow, look at this. Look how many players are down. Not liking this, boys. Okay, so I mean, this is what we're going to have to go for. I mean, I have absolutely nothing today. Everyone's knackered. I don't know what happened for those couple of weeks. I guess they played some sort of uh, international competition. I don't know, but look at the players. Stamina's down, form's down. This is the best we're going to go for. We're still on 89 spirit, so I think we'll be okay. Uh, and Bonaventura, I'm just going to start him on the right. He's not really his favoured position, but I'm just going to put him there. 
But yeah, we should have enough quality here to, to be able to certainly score at least one goal you'd expect against St. Etienne. But yeah, that's the lineup for today. Hope you guys do enjoy the matchup. Hopefully it won't be another mental game, but uh, you never know. You never know. We are playing on 10-minute superstars. So we're trying to speed through these matches, but... Hey, there's chances. There's chances. But anyway, let's dive into it. This is the quarterfinal this time. Completely said the wrong thing before. Uh, but anyway, here we go. So the quarterfinals are here of the Europa League. AC Milan. They fought hard and they are where they are right now because of, uh, well, being consistent. Just keeping things going. It's a tough game in the last match against Sporting, but in the end, they had enough firepower to pretty much beat them in extra time. That's what happened. Now, here is a chance for Felipe Anderson. It looks like he's going to walk it in, and he nearly did. Shocking defending at the back. I'd say St. Etienne have done well to get this far. Some big uh, big matches elsewhere. Chelsea taking on Atletico Madrid. I think uh, AC Milan are, are quite happy with the draw. As long as they win, of course. Paqueta, Kessie, back to uh, Paqueta, but a good challenge there. One thing St. Etienne are playing, though, is plenty of players at the back. So are they going to have the firepower to beat them? Kessie with the ball over the top. Rafa, if he's onside, it's an absolute wonderful ball. There's the chance. What a save. Fantastic pinpoint pass, though, from Kessie. To find Raphael. That's one part of his game he just needs to improve upon. You'd say it is the finishing. As Debushi comes down the right flank. Delivers it high. Kessie's up. The ball's been laid back. And a comfortable stop by Donnarumma. Cleared away. Well done, Felipe Anderson. Well, Rebic wants it. And he's going to find him. Paqueta on the left foot. And uh, stinging the palms of Ruffa. Ruffier in goal. As the referee looks like he will blow for half time. But it hasn't been too crazy. Pretty standard half, but Luigi will want a lot more from his players. So the second half begins and a change for the away side. See if they can. Uh, come up with the goods they really have to get that away goal it's uh, it's the key ingredient you feel they seem to know they don't want to concede it then Donker Paqueta who's got a brilliant left foot Kessie picks it up on the volley and sticking the arms again of the keeper but just can't find the corner right now they really just need to keep it going Here's the momentum they have That's a cracking name for you. We're just going to call him Colo. Adabu's lovely drill pass to Dabushi. Theo Hernandez was quickly across, but he has missed it. There's the header. Donnarumma didn't even move. It was a comfortable claim for him. So it's three changes for AC Milan. Colo to take the free kick. We've got seven minutes to play. And are these changes going to mean anything for the Rossoneri. That's a good looking pass. Now Masakio has to get there because if he doesn't, he'd left a gaping hole in the middle. And Felipe Anderson's done well to keep it on. He's got some space here. We might as well just keep taking it. Side to Dendonka. Flicks it on. Hakan. Raphael. Lovely football, Raphael. Straight at the goal. You can see how annoyed he is with himself, but he didn't at least test him. Here comes Debushi. Feeds it inside. Looks to flick it back. Fed through the middle. Todibo tried to get there. Couldn't. And that's going to be too much as he goes out. And that is full time. It's another nil-nil. It's not the worst result for AC Milan because they haven't conceded. If they do get that away goal now back in France, it will make life easier for them. But they were missing some players, you could tell, and they just looked off the pace. Not a ton of chances. I mean, it was five attempts to two. They had more possession, but man of the match was the keeper, Ruffier. 
So the other results, Manchester United winning 1-0. Great result for them. Wolves beat Spartak. Chelsea getting bashed three goals to nil against Atletico Madrid. Oh dear, oh dear. So that is all for today, ladies and gents. It's probably going to be a long episode because of that first match. I just couldn't get it going in that second game. Uh, I miss players and uh, I just look, I look poor. I made the wrong tactical moves and passes and... Yeah, we just didn't play very well. Anyway, Felipe Anderson's injured, so that's fantastic, isn't it? Absolutely great. How long's he out for? Six days. All right, it's not too shabby. But anyway, we'll return for the sim of uh, Sassuolo. We'll take them on. Then we'll be back for the St. Etienne game. I still fancy my chances. We just have to hope the lads are up for it and not everyone's knackered. Don't go out the night before, boys. Please don't do it. Anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy it. We'll return shortly. Let me know your thoughts about, you know, if there's a patch you guys want me to see play in the, uh, the next installment that we put out. Yeah, let me know, and uh, I'll see what I can do. But until next time, take care.